Hurry, hurry, quick, quick. And that's all I heard from your person, Sag. Hurry, hurry, quick, quick. What's up, Sagittarius? It's Black Madonna HP with table etiquette. And this person is rushing you to do something or something. Like they ain't got no patience. Whatever this person is talking about, hurry, hurry, quick, quick. This person has absolutely no patience. It's almost coming off like a controlling energy. You know, like hurry, hurry, quick, quick. Like who do you think you are? <laughs> you know? But uh, let's go ahead and see what this hurry, hurry, quick energy is about. Beloved, what's the energy for Sagittarius person, please? Hurry, hurry, quick, quick. And I actually think that's a song. But I don't know that song at all. Hurry and surrender. They want you to surrender to something. Are they trying to give you an ultimatum? If you don't do this, I'm going to do this or something like that. Like, is this an ultimatum? A ultimatum energy? Hurry, hurry, quick, quick. Like, if, if it's... If it's got to be in a rush and it's not going to be in divine timing, it's not going to work anyway. So why, so why they hurry, hurry, quick, quick? I don't know. Oh, maybe that's why they're in a rush. Maybe there's some secrets that have been revealed or will be revealed. And they're trying to hurry up and maybe cover up these secrets or get you tied down or something before these secrets come out or something like that. Cause now I'm hearing that song Rush, rush, hurry, hurry Lover, come to me What? I wanna see you I wanna see you here with me Who is your person, Sag? Oh, oh Oh Okay, that's why they like Hurry, hurry, rush, rush Um, Or hurry, hurry, quick, quick It's some type of betrayal here That's at the foundation of this um This relationship Maybe they've done something, whether you know it or not, to betray you. And they're trying to hurry up and cover this shit up in some type of way. You know, like, this person trying to, is this person trying to be dishonest and deceitful and trap you before you discover this truth? Because maybe this is somebody you just got back in connection with. Why am I hearing... That this person, for someone out there, that this person could have had sex with a friend or family member or something like that. This person may have been on the Jerry Springer show. What the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, is Jerry still out? I'm so happy COVID hit the. Now that's one show, okay? I'm sorry. That I could do without Jerry Springer. It was like. It was so classless. Okay. And and what's even worse. Is like people had no shame. In going on national TV. And being like you are the father. You are, you are the father. And it's like oh my gosh. Is this what we've come to? Like. <laughs> I'm just saying. So someone could have been on a Jerry Springer show. Did I say Jerry Springer? I meant Maury. What the? Oh my goodness. Either way, let's proceed. Harvest. Mmm. This, now this is interesting. Because when you plant seeds, what happens? Something grows, right? This person, so if I have to say it, these are the seeds planted right here. The seed of betrayal. And this person knows getting ready to harvest. They're like, hurry, hurry, rush, rush. If you are dealing with somebody that's trying to rush you into something or um, force you or keep pushing you, yeah, pay attention, pay attention, because it's a reason about um, why they're doing that. And then in the um, near future, it's feeling safe. So, yeah, something's going to come out. Something's gonna come out, and you're gonna be like, Shh. It's like, it's like, I don't know why I'm seeing it like, uh, like baseball. You know, you when you um, finally get to the home plate, like, and the um, I was finna say the usher, the umpire, it's like safe, like, you're gonna make it to 
to like that zone, like safe, because beloved is not gonna let you get entrapped in any entrapments. Oh, no, not entrapments. I'm hearing entanglements. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot, break down this energy, see what's going on here in this relationship with your person. Because I feel like this person um trying to hide something and they definitely trying to hide something because look at what card is constantly at the bottom of the deck no matter how much i shuffle the four pinnacles look how it looks though they're trying to hide something keep something from you they trying to get away with something we'll see if that seven of swords energy pop up but let's see here what's going on um with sagittarius person please what does sag need to know The Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Now, usually with this card, this is my card of energy. You know, someone sending energy your way. But what I'm getting with your person is this person was doing something behind your back. And they had, had other lovers, other relationships. This person, because not only that, now the way I'm looking at this card is this person is a fool. And they were trying to do things um, without thinking of the consequences to their action. One moment, Sash, let me turn on this air. I am burning up in a house that's 76 degrees. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this person was doing something behind your back with other people and I don't know if this is a sexual energy or what this energy is but with this ace of cups here this card of new love and things like that I wouldn't put it past them your person could have a tattoo on their wrist sash but um let's see here why is radical rebirth here the ten of cups and the three of swords So let me get this straight. So that that flower that was in this cup is now in this ten of cups. So how many damn cups have they filled? I'm just saying, how many cups have they filled to have to go from this to I don't know, can you see it up there? There it goes. To that. How many cups have this person filled, Sag? And then when you ask them about it, it's like they want to ghost you, start an argument or fight or something or act like they don't know what you're talking about. And, you know, because this could be the day. This could be the type of day you guys have, right? It could be like a sunny day, whatever. And, you know. You might come home from work like she coming home and meet him, you know. What's up, babe? What you been doing? Da, da, da. I ain't been doing nothing, something, something. Well, you know, um, Jan or Jennifer Monet told me they seen you at the store with such and such. Oh, no. Nah. And then the whole day turned and that's the energy and that three of swords. You know. I just. Mm, interesting. So, and, and then I believe this card, this radical rebirth is here because this keep coming up. This is like an ongoing, hey, I'm hearing this. Hey, I'm hearing this. Okay. Why well, surrender here? The star and the nine of pentacles. You know what I get with this? <laughs> It's like, it's like someone keeps wanting you to, to get in a relationship with them. Like you could, you could, you could be like, you know, seeing this person, but y'all like not really together, but it's like this person is trying to get you in a relationship or put a ring on or whatever this case may be. But it's like, 
the motive behind this person's actions is because they are trying to ensure that this secret remains hidden. They don't want you to know what they had been or have been doing. There is something. And now they, oh my goodness, this sneaky person. So while they talking to you, they trying to pour out the mother two cups, huh? What you say? No, I ain't been nowhere loving on nobody. That somebody lying on me. Don't be believing what people say. You know, people. And you're like, oh, really? But, you know, I have the receipts. <laughs> but this person, they keep denying it. They keep denying it. Okay, why well, seekers revealed here? Oh. Two of Wands and the Four of Wands. So you were starting families and shit here and there, huh? This was what you was doing behind my back. You was starting relationships behind my back when we was broken up. Why am I hearing you aborted that baby? Somebody. Ooh. Somebody think they slick. When you guys were on a break or something, somebody got pregnant and had a damn abortion and killed the baby just to hide it because they didn't want to be honest about them being pregnant by somebody else. They could initially told you that it was your baby or something like that. But here's the other thing I'm getting with that. That's going to create some spiritual karma because you took a life for the wrong reasons. You know? I feel like, um, I also feel like, okay, if this person was traveling or something, this person was cheating like hell, okay? When they told you they was at such and such house, no, they were not. They were, if they, they were outside of someone else's house or, I mean, the energy I'm getting for this person is this person was doing all kind of stuff behind your back that you have no idea about I mean none at all like you have your suspicions because your intuition trying to tell you like man something ain't right with this person something ain't right I know I just I just don't have no proof like that's your intuition being like you know you're totally right especially if you keep feeling it and feeling it you know but let's see here for harvest oh my goodness so let me get this straight okay so there you are um sag but here go that damn fool i was telling you about right so there go that fool she don't took her cloak off and shit and she's sitting there like she just innocent yeah, what's up, baby? And what, you, what you do today? Nothing. I just been sitting at home. I ain't did nothing. Been at such and such house. Been messing with the postman. Or you know how I used to be in our grandmother day. They was messing with the milkman, the postman. You know, stuff like that. But ah, uh, this person ain't that slick. Because you see that feather right there. That matches this cloak. Oh yeah, they left a trace somewhere. They left a damn trace. So they sitting there looking innocent, trying to act innocent. I ain't did nothing, you know, nope. I am faithful. I am loyal. I, I would never do that to you. They lying. <laughs> they lying, Sag. And what's even crazier is they lying to your damn face. She ain't got her back turned. She'll tell you a straight up lie to, to your face, male or female. Okay? But, uh, yeah, whatever seed they planted, it's getting ready to come out don't even worry about it let's see why feeling safe is here the eight of swords and the page of cups oh now you want to apologize to sag because now sag found out about you and whatnot now you over there and this feeling safe energy i'm sorry i know my cross watchers be like she don't care nothing about us it's not that is that I'll be reading the energy for the sign. And I'm sorry, we don't come to tarot land because our spouses or our significant others are acting beautiful towards us. 
They be doing some stuff and we need answers to our questions. This is why we watch tarot. Let's just be honest. So I don't mean to offend the cross watcher, but honestly, I, I really truly read the energy for the zodiac signs, you know. But uh, yeah, so I see in the near future, this person going to be found out. You're going to find out, Sag. And then this person going gonna to be like, oh, they're going to be trying to apologize and whatnot because they can't get it off their mind. But it's like, you did the damage. And one night, and this is how they're going to come in towards you. No, baby, I promise you. You know, I don't love nobody but you. You are the one for me, you know. I will never betray your trust like that. And the whole time, look at this shit. Sag, look at this. Wait, if I could, let me just show you what's underneath the deck. So this is them trying to tell you that old sad story. But look at that, okay? Look at Look, they probably just came from somebody's house. They other person and whatnot. Thinking about them. Yeah, thought they had got away with something. You know, just left their house. That's what I'm saying. But you already know it, Satch. You know, you be trying to ignore the signs Beloved give you. If you let it stretch you out, weigh you down. But Beloved, it's like you don't see it. I'm showing you the proof of it. Okay? You need to lead this person. Look, she's pouring out that cup of love. She don't want it. Honestly telling you and there's that investigative energy you already know Sag okay so let's go ahead and get you a message close out this reading this person how you know why I'm seeing the song I'm hearing is funny as hell I saw you and him walking in the rain we were oh no you were holding hands and I never be the same i'm hearing the whole song and it's so funny like yeah I, um he said something you you did so much some some yeah that's right i played you or something or something man listen to that song matter of fact that might be one of the songs i actually made link but um let's see here oh ooh ooh discovering Today, I release my old beliefs, conviction, and preconceived notions in their place. I seek new ideas, innovations, and endless possibilities. I'm adaptable. I'm able to see beyond my previous limitations and discover greater worlds inside me. So yeah, release those old beliefs. Discover what was right there in your face was new. It's like beloved showing you. Look at that. Don't, don't let nobody play with your intelligence. Be trying to... Gaslight you act like no, you know, you what? Okay. But Sash, that's your reading. Make sure to smash that uh, uh like button, hit that um subscribe bell, and I will see you in the next read. Take care.